Hi, it's Danielle again from Danielle's Homemade Products. I thought I'd take a few minutes to go through how I do my menu. Um, I did a blog on this I don't know, sometime in the last year, um, but I've changed how I do it now that I am helping here with my gram. Um, I used to do, I still do basically the entire month's menu, but for the most part, I don't necessarily do um, weekends. And the reason I don't do that here is because I never know from one weekend to the next if uh, I'm going to be here with Graham or if, say, my mom's going to be here or if Graham's going to be with one of my aunts. Um, so during the week, I know definitely that I'll be here. So I plan for those. And then the weekends is kind of um, extra leftover days or I try to get a couple of extra things when I go to the grocery store just so that I can cover those days if I'm going to be here. And if not, then I make sure it's something that's freezable and can go towards maybe, say, the next weekend. Um, so I don't necessarily plan on weekends. Uh, but the first thing I start off doing is I ask both my grandmother and my daughter if there's anything that they have any taste for. Um, uh, Graham didn't have anything this year. This year, goodness. Um, apparently, I need some sleep. Um, she didn't have anything this month that she had a taste for, but my daughter had a really big taste for macaroni and cheese and, and hot dogs. Um, so we did have that tonight for dinner, which I found it to be a surprise because normally she throws a fit when I make that for dinner. But okay, I wasn't going to argue because it was an easy meal, and I have not gotten to the store yet, and that tends to be something I usually keep in, keep on hand. Um, but neither, but Nan didn't really have anything that she had a taste for. I didn't really have taste for anything food wise I had no enthusiasm for it I put it off for probably about a week I should have done it earlier in the week um, probably mid last weekend I just didn't feel like it I won't lie um, but what I do then is I'll create a list and um, I'll show you in the next clip what I'm talking about I'll create a list of different dinner ideas whether I've gotten them from just past meals that I've done, whether I've cruised Pinterest. Yes, Pinterest is a godsend. I do get a lot of ideas on, from Pinterest as far as food goes. And what I'll tend to do for that is if I'm stuck on ideas or I just need inspiration, um, I'll go through my recipes pins on Pinterest and see if anything looks good to me. I did find that the majority of what I had pinned were desserts. So apparently I was wanting sweets when I went through a lot of those recipes and, and pinned them. But, but that's okay because there were still other meals in there too. But the majority of them were sweets. Um, but I, uh, I start with that and then I go through and um, go from there. So um, I just wanted to kind of introduce what I was thinking and kind of explain a little bit before I actually got into the actual menu. And that should be coming up shortly. See you back in a few minutes. Okay, so I normally sit here in the living room and I'll create a list of different dinner ideas. Um, and that's the list I came up with for this month. Now, I may not always use all of the ones that I have on my list, just depending on how many meals that we need. Now, if there's any of them that need recipes, um, for example, my crock pot chicken parmesan I got that off of Pinterest so I made a recipe and a separate notebook um, that way I'm not having to go through all my time that I'm going to make it I can just pull out my notebook and I know I've got it there it also is a way of me for me to keep track of um, recipe ideas that went well or bombed so if everyone likes it then I keep the recipe in my notebook if nobody liked it then I tear it out and throw it away and it just kind of makes my own little cookbook of ideas and dinners that have worked for us um, and then what I use for the actual menu, um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab that. Okay, this is the board that I actually use to put the menus on. And I do have kind of a color-coded system. Yeah, I know I have a little bit of OCD, but the orange marker is the recipes that we've, or whatever we've planned for dinner. I do also write in any doctor's appointments for myself, my daughter, my grandmother, so that any buddy coming in whoever is going to be here that particular day whether it's during the day or at night can know at a glance what is going on that month um and what doctor appointment she's got to go to or what doctor's appointment i've got to go to my grandmother also loves the game show channel so i have it written down there at the bottom because this is right outside her bedroom door and that way if she needs to put that channel on i can't remember it's there for her look um i've got this from walmart i want to say it was like 10 10 dollars 
somewhere around in there, $10, $15. Um, not very expensive, and it's nice because it is blank. All the numbers I write in when I start the month, and I can change it out each month. It's also a nice way to help my grandmother keep track of the days because sometimes when you know she's retired and she's got some issues from her strokes so there are times where she's not sure what day of the week it is so it kind of as we have the days i try to remember to um you know write them off or mark them off so that she knows what day of the week it is at any time as well and uh, like i said today we had the mac and cheese and hot dogs on monday the third this is when i'm recording this and it's kind of late so it's you well, know it's 11 30 so it's not quite the fourth yet but um, this is how I do it. And then this is hung on the wall in the kitchen, and I'll show you it hung up in just a moment. I'm using Command Velcro strips, which makes it nice because it does make it removable, easy to take down, and replace it every time I need to take it down. And I just have two of them, one on each end. You can kind of see, my daughter left the blanket out, see where how I've got them on. And then the matching side is on the wall in the other room. And I will go put it up and show you what it looks like. I can't put it up and hold the camera at the same time and everybody else is sleeping right now. So bear with me and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is where it hangs in the kitchen and it's directly across from the fridge. Um, uh, there's the pantry and here is the fridge here. My grandmother is an Elvis fan. So it hangs there. Her bedroom is right next to on the left side of the pantry you could see her light still on but I know she's sleeping at this point but it hangs here so that anybody coming in can see what was planned for dinner that day now this doesn't mean that everything is set in stone and the reason I say that is say okay I have the meatloaf muffins meatloaf muffins and potatoes and corn planned for Wednesday if something happens and the day gets all thrown at kilter which sometimes does happen I can change that to a different day if I need to. Uh, sorry, my flash just turned off. Apparently my phone's getting too warm. But um, I can change that to a different day if I need to because I already have all the ingredients needed for every day that week. Um, sometimes I do shop for two weeks at a time. Sometimes that's only a week. But based on whatever I've got planned, whatever I already have the ingredients for, I can switch it out as needed. Say we got up and, you know, we're in, it's 80 degrees and we don't want to do chicken, you know, wild rice soup. Okay, well then I might change that to a day where it's a little cooler or yuckier. So I have the flexibility with that because I already have all the ingredients for, you know, that week or the week after. So, and normally when I was at home, I just did one big grocery shop for the month. Um, but here I usually go every one to two weeks, depending on what we need for that week. Cause there's just more things that we've got to get um, for Nana. Um, med wise and and other things wise that I can't avoid having to go more often than I did when I was just at home all the time. But I hope you like it. If you have any questions, any suggestions, any tips, um, leave them down in the comments and I hope this helps you give you an idea for menu planning. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and you'll and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.